Okay, so to do the stratified random sampling, uh, what we have to do first is to determine the proportion of each stratum relative to the population. And in order to do that, we have to allocate proportionally. Okay, so the proportional allocation formula is given by the following as what you will see uh, on screen. And here, uh, based on the example that we have presented, uh, what we want is to determine uh, the uh, number of employees that we are going to take uh, from each race. So uh, we take note that um, there are 182 Filipinos, 51 Chinese, and 17 American. And we're going to come up with a committee which is composed of 15 uh, individuals coming from all three uh, races indicated or included in the insurance company. So how do we allocate proportionally? All right. So using the formula, we are going to have, let me make use of small n sub f to indicate that we are computing for the um, proportional allocation uh, coming from the Filipino race. So from our example, the population or the total number of Filipinos in the company is 182. So we will have 182, we divide it by our population size or the total number of employees in the company and that is equal to 250. And we multiply it by the sample size that we want to uh, have. In this case, we want to have a sample or a committee which is composed of 15 uh, people. Okay, so in that case, we will have 182 divided by 250 and we multiply it by 15. Okay, so here, what we will have is equal to uh, 10.92, okay, or uh, we are going to uh, round this up to uh, 11, or actually we are going to round it off, okay? So in that case, of the 15 uh, employees to be included in the committee, there will be a total of um, 11 uh, Filipinos. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we will compute for the rest of um, the number of individuals coming from the different races. So for um, or for those who will be belonging in the Chinese race, so what we will have, there's a total of 51 of them divided by 250, okay, times uh, 15. And in this case, we will have, that will be equal to, so 51 uh, divided by 250 uh, times uh, 15, that will give us 3.06 and we're going to round it off to 3, okay? So that means to say 3 uh, people uh, will be part of the committee of 15 who are actually Chinese. All right, let's do the same for the number of Americans to be included in the committee. But if you're going to look at this, since our uh, n, uh, the, the, the sample size that we, will, uh, that we want to have is 15, if you're going to inspect this, we already have 11. Uh, we already have 11 and uh, uh, 3. Okay, and that will give us a total of 14. So that means to say we only need one more coming from the American race to complete our sample or to complete the committee that we want to form, which is composed of 15 individuals. But to verify that indeed we will need one more or that um, what is uh, lacking is only one, uh, we are going to compute using our formula. So here, we will have N sub A to indicate that we are computing uh, for the number of uh, employees who are Americans to be included in, our, in the committee that we are forming. So in this case, the total number of Americans is 17. We divide it by 250 and then we multiply it by uh, 15. And um, computing, how much will we have? That is uh, 17. Uh, divided by 250 times 15, indeed that will be equal to 1.02 and that is uh, rounded off to 1. Okay, so therefore, uh, here we have verified that we only need one more individual coming from the American race to complete the committee, which is uh, 15. Alright, so um, in this case, the next step is once we have allocated proportionally, okay, how do we determine 11 coming from the 182 Filipinos? How do we choose the three Chinese coming from the Chinese race? How do we choose only one American uh, to be part of the committee 
uh, coming from the American race. Okay, so um, you have the option either to make use of the simple random sampling or you can make use of the stratified random sampling. So basically, it's up to you uh, which um, which technique you are going to use right after you have allocated proportionally. Okay, now, if uh, we're going to analyze this further, if you notice, since majority of the 250 individuals are Filipinos, we take note that there are 182 Filipinos out of the 250 employees in the company. It is only logical that of the 15 um, employees to be chosen to be part of the committee, majority of them, okay, because uh, look at this one, we have 11 Filipinos, uh, to be part of the committee of 15. So majority will be coming from the Filipino race. It's because most of the employees are actually Filipinos. And that is followed by Chinese and Americans respectively. Okay, so this is how we have um, allocated proportionally um, in terms of the use of the stratified random sampling. So I hope this is clear.